Hello and thanks for watching this video on Acumatica's General Ledger Journal Transactions. So let's take a look at the Journal Transaction screen. The Journal Transaction screen allows you to post transactions directly to the General Ledger. Now, in the Journal Transaction list of entries, you can see that Acumatica does this automatically from other modules. So for example, this transaction came in from Accounts Payable. This one came in from inventory, accounts receivable, and so on. And in this screen, you can filter out all the different modules that may have created transactions. And you can see there's a number of them. But if we click plus from our finance journal transaction, the default is GL. And we have a few options here. The first is the date. So this is the transaction date that we want to post the transaction. Based on this date, the post period will automatically get defined. So in your master financial calendar, which is right here, you have a calendar defined, which indicates the different periods. So if we take a look at 2019, you can see this is the period range, start to end date, that includes this particular period. So when I select a date in this range, that's why it's selecting this period. So here you can give it a description. Maybe adjust advertising expense. Here you can pick a branch. So if you have branches underneath your companies, such as in the sales demo, here are the different branches. So product wholesale or product retail. If you have different branches and you want to hit that different branch, you can make a change here. Acumatica has different ledgers and ledgers are like a different set of books and you always have an actual ledger and that's where all the GL transactions funnel into. But you can also have different ledgers that you can post a GL transaction to. And these different ledgers can be for reporting or statistical or budget purposes. Typically, however, you'll set up your budget in a different way. You won't create transactions to get your budget balances. You can switch your currency here, so you can post a GL transaction in a different currency if you have it set up. Over here, we have the ability to auto-reverse these entries. Now, based on Acumatica's GL preferences, which we'll take a look at it right here, this can be done when we post or at the next period on period closing. So that's your options there. So auto-reversing. <clears throat> if this is a reversing entry, you'll see a read-only checkbox here. Here we have the ability to create tax transactions. So let's create an entry. Over here we can specify a different branch, and this could create an intercompany transaction if we wanted it to. So we'll pick our advertising. And let's say, for example, we'll pick our sub-account. Let's say we'll reduce this by $50, but instead it should have been conferences and seminars. So of course, you can look that up by typing a few letters of the GL account, or you can type a couple of numbers and also pull it up. Acumatica will automatically attempt to balance this as we continue on, but if you need to add more lines, you can. And because we have project accounting turned on, We'll simply select X, which is a non-project. And when you're done, you click Release. So this just created a GL transaction. And it credited the advertising expense and debited conferences and seminars. So if we take a look at the transaction, uh, maybe we can do that through our inquiry screen, Account Details. First, we'll take a look at advertising. And you can see the entry that was created here. And we can drill back to that journal transaction if we need to. Now we'll look at conference. And you can see that here as well. So that's it. It's pretty easy, journal transactions. If you have additional questions, feel free to reach out to us. Our information is at the end of the video. Thanks very much for watching.